Don't be so quick to receive, to accept everyone's advice. I believe you have to be very selective. And you may say, why do you say that, Uncle Kev? I think some people may tell you, may tell you, they are looking out for your own good. But I believe some people out there are jealous of you. Perhaps some people are being used by demons to get you to go down the wrong track. If you are trying to live for God, I believe we have to understand and I believe this to be true, demons don't want us to go to heaven. Do I know every demon? Do I know any demons? No. But I believe what demons and Satan want is for us to be condemned as well. So I believe Satan and demons want us to go to hell then to the lake of fire because I believe they all are going to the lake of fire as well. Don't be so quick to accept someone's advice. You may be on the right track now, but someone may come to your life or someone you may know may try to advise you to do something against your interests. If someone advises you to do anything, Line it up with the Bible. For instance, is what this person telling me going against what the Bible say? This person is telling me I should punch someone in the face if they insult me. Does that go with the Bible? This person is telling me, for instance, if it is a woman, this person is telling me I should go against my husband. Like I should be rebellious against my husband for the woman, not me. So does that go against the Bible? Don't be so quick to accept people's advice. I believe in some cases, if someone see your life going better than theirs, I think there are some cases where some people may get jealous of that and try to ruin what you have because of how their life is. For instance, like, let's say I am this really jealous person, like I am jealous of your life, and I want your life as bad as mine. Let's say I am not married and, which I am not, Let's say I am not married and you are married and you have a wife, you have good kids and stuff like that. And let's say that angers me like, like that really angers me. 
So let's say I come to you and tell you, hey, you really should not be doing all those nice things for your wife because she may take advantage of you. She may not appreciate you. So what you should do, you should act more cold toward her. You should like do your own thing. You should not be really joined together in agreement. You know, you should like just treat her in a more cold way. Now, let's say you are silly enough to follow that. That may ruin your relationship. Now, you may think I am telling you that for your own good, but in truth, I am telling you that to sabotage your relationship. I believe there are so many jealous people out there. So don't be so quick to accept someone's advice. Look at their life, man. If someone is trying to give you advice about life or God, look at their life. If their advice is so good, look at their life. If they are qualified to give me advice, let me look at their life and see if it is working for them. If it is not, then I should probably not really consider that person's advice. Now, is it possible someone that is messed up is able to give good advice? I guess in some cases. But if that person's life is messed up, shouldn't that person work on themselves before telling me I should do this and that. Don't be so quick to accept someone's advice because that person may be trying to sabotage you. Everyone that tell you, you they are your friend is not. Maybe less than 10% are really your friend maybe or maybe two percent but i think the majority of people who claim to be your friend is not i'm telling you so let me stop here don't be so quick to accept someone's advice because that person may not be for you that person may secretly like hey i am going to mess up kevin I am going to act like I am his friend and then stab him in the back. Come on now. We have to discern. We have to judge what a person say. Will Kevin, the Bible says not to judge. Listen now. Which if you read the Bible, you will see that it's not completely true. We must judge, not judge in like, in a mean way, like this person is silly and this person is, you know, saying rude things about a person. But I believe we must discern. We must what? Test the fruit. Hey, if someone is telling me something and it is evil, hey, I should be smart enough to tell, to judge whether it is evil or not, right? Well, since so many people say the Bible tells us not to judge, let me just do this thing that I know is evil, but I can't judge it. So let me just do it. Let me fall into it. No, we have to judge. We have to test. So let me stop here. God bless you.